so somebody says Dorian Yates trained about three to four times during his prime. Never go with a guy during his prime. So he's saying that if he's uh, 400 or should you, pounds, okay. should he get on a nutrition and just literally lose 100 pounds and then start going to the gym? Or just do exercise and nutrition at the same time, which I would do, I think. Movement. So many nutrition and training is on point. What essential supplements do you recommend Ooh, for women? Great. For women. Not great, women. great, 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 great. Yeah, we talk about this, and I talked about it today, guys. Number one is water, water intake. Number two is nutrition, okay? Number three is recovery, sleep, recovery, training, smart. Four is mental strength and understanding the process. You know what five is? Oh, is it training? Five is exercise. <laughs> that is how low exercise is on here, and I know that everybody here if I took a poll, you guys would have started with exercise. Oh, yeah, probably. Exercise is not the most important thing to do this. I'll guarantee there's people on here that train harder than Mona and I. I guarantee there's people on here that train more days than Mona and I. Then why are you not being able to maintain that? Why can you not go day in and day out staying in shape? You got to ask yourself that. Do not weigh yourself every day. Weigh yourself to the most every two weeks, okay? Yeah, so, um, yeah, I see somebody. Yes, guys, I have my nutrition um, app out. It's in her bio. You can click the yeah. link. Nutrition and uh, training and everything that you guys need. Just click my link and then you'll get it. So somebody says Dorian Yates trained about three to four times during his prime. Never go with a guy during his prime, just so you understand. And, and Dorian Yates did train three to four days during his prime. Well, what did he do when he was 19 it, and It's what he did to get yeah. the size. Because um, he'll talk about both sides of that aspect. Uh, Dorian will talk about all the injuries he got, <clears throat> how he trained three to four days a week because he went to 100% in failure almost every set. Right. Um, and he didn't do a lot of sets. He did basically a whole bunch of warm-up sets. And then he did uh, the Mike Menser is actually the program he did heavy duty and uh, he went down to that so again what I'm trying to do is tell you that that second stage of when um, Doreen was at his prime if he did that when he was building himself up as uh, Mr. England then he wouldn't have torn down his ligaments as much as he did and but he still came to that realization that less is more and so that's a great point you made there just just remember though how did you get the size? How did you get there? And that's why I, I want everybody here to understand because Dorian couldn't keep his prime. And what I want you all to do, I want you guys to keep your prime. I don't want you to say, hey, I was, pr I was great when I was 20 and now I'm nothing when you're 30. I don't want that. I want you guys to be the guy that goes, Hey, I'm like Robbie Robinson at 76 and still look phenomenal. Or Not phenomenal say, for 76, phenomenal for 20. Hey, um, you know, I'm like Michael Hearn. He was great at 16. He was great at 25. He was great at 30. He's great at 50. What? <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> but yeah, I, again, um, great point, but just make sure to look at the whole picture on this stuff, guys. So you lose weight and then begin training or begin training while losing weight. I don't know what that means. So somebody asked here, uh, should you lose weight and then begin training? So he's saying that if he's uh, 400 you, pounds, okay. should he get on a nutrition and just literally lose 100 pounds and then start going to the gym? Or just do exercise and nutrition at the same time, which I would do, I think. Movement, you know. Well, this is definitely a beginner. Yeah. And so let me just clarify one thing. I would first fix your metabolism. Um, because neither losing weight and or exercising is going to do it. So the first thing I would do is get on uh, Mona's nutrition plan and let's fix your metabolism. Uh, and that is by making sure that you're eating the right meals at the right time. Now, as soon as you get on that, then you'll be able to work with Mo or me and we'll be able to talk to you and we will help you understand when your body says, hey, my body's burning again. And um, burning meaning it's working, the metabolism is functioning. Um, and then I would incorporate secondary stuff. So um, I understand the question, um, but 100% get a trainer. 
because right now you're 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 asking such a basic question um, and so I don't want you to waste the next year spinning your wheels don't do that it's a great time to get started today it's get a great a time to get a trainer it's worth the money I you promise. can get Mona or you can get anybody but get a trainer um, right now it's the best thing in the world so many nutrition and training is on point what essential supplements do you recommend Ooh, for women great for women not great women. great 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 so first of all I would just start saying this you should be on all the vitamins multivitamin from uh, A to E to C to D all these vitamins which I don't do you should be on okay as a woman <laughs> however I'm 45 years old right. and I'm proud the way I look at 45 years old, and I'm saying this loud because I am, um, I just, um, I'm getting on joint support because guess what? As you get older, it doesn't matter how perfect your form, in, it, form is when you work out. It doesn't matter how, uh, how much attention you pay of not injuring yourself. We, the, the, the realness of this is that we're getting older, and as you get older, your body is changing over the years. Well, and you want to stay healthy so I am gonna get on joint support which uh, Michael Hearn has just actually launched some but you don't have to get our own joint support you could just go online and get whatever joint support you guys want um, vitamins for women um, you know I'm vitamins for women um, I, well I'm I mean everybody uh, uh, vitamins for men and women I'll give you a, um, a good foundation be on your multivitamins for all of you. Um, for me, I need to eat something before I take my multivitamin, but I'll take it in the morning. Um, but everybody should be on this. Now, again, yep. I'm talking to you 19 teenagers. You know, you, you teenagers, and I was, I really wasn't that way. I'd like to say I was, but I was smart, I was smart enough to realize the basics is what works. So the multivitamins was one thing, and vitamins, when I was growing up, back in the 1900s, uh, was terrible. So today, you guys <laughs> got the op you got great opportunities. So uh, vitamin D, um, you as you do your blood work and stuff, you'll find out if you're getting enough sun or not. Um, if not, make sure you're taking in your vitamin D because that is such an important element to your body. Um, right now, you could do the zinc um, also just to help that immune system. Some iron if you need to. Um, again, I, if anybody's worried about the COVID and stuff like that, uh, or just be healthy. Vitamin E, uh, for you guys that are over 35, DHEA. Um, vitamin C is such a huge thing for our family um, because it's not just collagen. It, it's, it's bone. It's uh, connective tissue recovery. Um, and it's just a great, great thing for your body. Uh, I do do a large amount of vitamin C. Um, and I don't worry about the studies on uh, any kind of blockage to muscle building towards that. Again, for me, uh, I'm more worried about my ligaments and tendons and my cartilage than I am any muscle in the world ever. Um, and health, health. Uh, what else we got? What else do we have? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, uh, joint support, done deal. Boom, we got it right there. Um, for you guys that are getting up there in age, uh, my pump product has an estrogen blocker, uh, and then we got our test booster for you guys, and it's not going to just help you, but it's going to make your girl happy. That's right. Uh Why do I not like pro athletes anymore? Uh, because we live in the greatest country in the world. Um, the greatest country. We uh, help athletes go to colleges because they have a special gift, and we lower the GPA for them to get into colleges to help them um, and then they go past that now understand that means a lot of other kids that are smarter than them do not get in and then when they finish colleges they go off and make millions and millions of dollars and the reason why I am not a fan of watching sports anymore is because those people that were helped through their lives then turn around and say that America is a bad place and America is the greatest place and the only people that I think should speak on that aspect are people that have been over into the other countries, people that have come to uh, from other countries during a civil war and seen poverty and, and other things. America is pretty incredible and it is the number one place to live and it's, as Mona says or other Europeans say, it is the American dream to come here. So for anybody to uh, 
cap on America, something I believe is amazing. And I've traveled the world um, over 50 now, and I've lived in Russia, and I've lived in Ukraine, and I've seen how hard it is to disrespect something being born here and not seeing the rest of the world is, is such a disgrace uh, to, to anybody in the past that's fought for what we're trying to become here. Um, and everybody in America is trying to be better and trying to do the best they can. And so for people to say and, and cap on it, I'm not a fan. But that's my uh, opinion. Now, again, again, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. That? I feel like people, they're saying that America is not great or American people. Yeah, I, I agree with I, that. I it, it's it's any, American any, people that are born here yeah, that have never yeah, gone to yeah. other countries and so stuff like that. So I would like to take their ass to a different country and just drop them off. It goes, you're talking to a European, great, so yeah, you guys kind of lose the battle. Yeah. She came from a country. They she got here without speaking the language. That's the problem with Americans. They yeah. take things for granted. They and I'm an American, and I've seen it. So. Um, but yeah, I, the, the reason I don't watch pro sports is because it just it's it's not who I am anymore. Um, I believe in America, and I believe in the people that are working. I believe in the military. I believe in officers that are out there protecting the world. I believe um, it is needs to be safe. I think we need more officers in the bad areas. That way they can build that up and there's less crime so more money can go into those areas to build those areas up and everybody can come and be better. That's my belief. And I believe in people and I believe in the people that are trying to do that. Um, I the hope people. that answered that question. Hopefully that answered it. But anyway. I, just, I just don't got time for multi-millionaires saying what their opinion is when they made millions in a country that allowed them to make millions. Right. Um, I want to listen to the people that are, are, are struggling and, and lived in other countries and came here and make a living. I'll take the worker, the person that was willing to work, the foreigner that's willing to work over the American that's living off the parents um, and feels like they, 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 get a, get, they gripe because they went to college and their teachers told them something. So may not hear of Colton yet, but you will one day. This kid, I, I, I knew him, I met him a year ago. And he started trading with us over in the uh, Titan crew. And well, I met him, and I met him because of his father, he's a friend of mine. But I was like, this kid is in the wrong place. He had a good job, everything's great and stuff. Great job. Great job. Yeah, making great money. But I'm sitting there watching potential in front of me, going, kid, you need to go. You need to fly the coop. Um, and it reminded me uh, of being around my dad when I was 20. And he came into uh, my room and I was packed up to move to California because Joe Weider was bringing me down. And he said, uh, stop waiting for your friends. Get in the truck. Leave. I want you out of the house before mom gets home. I didn't want, she didn't want me to get mom and make mom cry that day. He says, you'll call her in a couple weeks, tell her check, everything's check, okay. Check. And, and, and it's the same kind of thing. And that push going, my dad knew I had potential to do something great. And this kid has the potential and he's going to do something great and his, Col his name is Colton Gunn um, I'm calling you that and uh, he's gonna be on TV here really really soon um, big time wrestling kicking ass and uh, he's already started right he's been on TV a couple times yeah. yeah so so keep an eye out for this kid but if you guys watching in my YouTube's you can go back to uh, uh, last year, you saw this good-looking kid with us, uh, and he's off to do greatness. He was with us the whole quarantine, like from March on. You know what I Every love about day, him, though? I couldn't get rid of him. The greatest thing about him is you called it. After he left, <laughs> we didn't hear from him again. It's just, <laughs> but he left the card. Where's yeah, the card? Yeah, he left the card. Oh, it's right here. You guys are nice I, people. You're nice, yeah. <laughs> oh. We still got his card right here. Said, it? He gave us a card. It's good people. He said, peace, I'm out. Never talk to us again. Can you give me that anti-aging cream? Somebody asked for cream. This is my cream. So you guys have seen our stomachs and try to figure out why they're still healthy. We always put cream on it. Yeah, so there's a great uh, anti-aging. Oh,